We talked before about the grid tie systems that had a battery as a backup. Now, actually, we're talking about standalone systems, PV systems, which do not connect to the grid. They are standalone. Let's look at this. Off grid or standalone PV systems, they incorporate large amount of battery storage to provide power for certain number of days and also nights in a row when the sun is not available. The array of solar panels must be large enough to power all the energy needs at the site and recharge the batteries at the same time. As I supply energy to the appliances, the battery gets discharged. As they get discharged continuously, non-stop, I have to charge them again. The reason? I want to prolong the amount of time, the length of time, that this PV system will actually operate. So as we discharge the batteries to operate appliances, I have to charge them in order to be able to do it the next day and the next night. Now let's look at the left picture. PV array, it goes to a combiner box because we have several modules. We have to combine them in order to increase the voltage, the current, and therefore the power. It will go to a circuit breaker, safety precaution we said before. It will go to charge controller. This charge controller has one simple mission. To control the amount and the level of charging of the battery, meaning that when the battery will be, will be fully charged, this controller will stop the continuity of the charging will stop charging the battery if the battery is always uh, already full. After the controller, after the charge controller, there's another circuit breaker. Notice that between each module, we have two circuit breakers. Safety, safety, safety. After the circuit breakers come the battery, the battery pack. Now, depends on the number of days or number of hours nights and the uh, 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 power consumption consumptions of my appliances this is what will determine the size of the battery pack it's basically storage more batteries will enable longer time for the pv system to work remember there's no grid it's a standalone system the battery charge the batteries the battery bank goes to, again, circuit breaker, which will go to an inverter. Inverter receives DC in the input, provides AC in the output, and this output, again, goes to a circuit breaker, safety, will go to the, the customer console, electrical console, that distributes these AC electrical energies into the various appliances in the home. We have no grid, we have DC coming from the panels, converted by the inverter, and distributed to the different appliances. Now, in this picture, we see something different. We see, that we, have, we see that we have a backup generator. This generator means that if the battery is discharged, completely discharged, and we still do not tie ourselves to the grid, the generator will come and will behave as a backup to the batteries. The, ge the generator is basically the AC generator. It's connected directly to the inverter, supply uh, energy to it. And again, batteries empty, generator comes as a backup.